Hi there. Here is a short topic video covering the key factors that affect the coefficient, or the value, of price elasticity of demand. Price elasticity, remember, is the responsiveness of demand to a product after a change in its own price. And the basic formula to use is the percentage change in quantity demanded divided by the percentage change in price. Normal goods have a downward sloping demand curve, so we know that the coefficient of price elasticity will be negative. What we're more concerned with is not the, the sign, but the actual value, the coefficient of elasticity. And that's what we're going to look at in this short revision video. So what are some of the key factors that influence the price elasticity of demand? Perhaps the most important one is the availability of and the number of close substitutes. So when there are many close substitutes in the market, the more price elastic is demand. For example, a supermarket shelf full of yogurts or fruit drinks, there's lots and lots of choice for the consumer. A key second factor is the cost of switching. So, for example, if we think about utilities, uh, the electricity suppliers, there might be a cost in, in changing a contract or changing your mobile phone contract, for example. So when there are costs involved in switching, demand tends to be less price elastic. The breadth of definition of a product also affects the elasticity of demand. If a good is broadly defined, the demand for potatoes or the demand for petrol or meat, demand is often inelastic. But if we take a narrow definition of a particular product, like a brand of beef or brand of potato chip, then demand might be more price elastic because, of course, there are many more competing products to consider. The degree of necessity affects price elasticity of demand. So necessities tend to be inelastic, whereas luxury items tend to be more elastic. So, for example, the demand for insulin you'd expect to be pretty price unsensitive. Here are four more key factors that affect the price elasticity of demand. The time frame is important. So, if there's a price change, demand tends to be more elastic the longer we give consumers to make a change to their spending behaviour. For example, they might have more time to search online for a cheaper substitute and then make a change in their buying behaviour. When there's significant brand loyalty, demand tends to be inelastic because people are loyal to the product. The percentage of income also is a key factor. So normally products that take up a big percentage of income will tend to have a more elastic demand because any price change has a significant effect on the purchasing power. Whereas a change in the price of apples is unlikely really to affect the consumer's budget, particularly this happy family. And finally, habit forming goods. So when the good is subject to habitual consumption, something like a tutor to you webinar, for example, consumers become less sensitive to the price. It's become, if you like, the default choice. They buy it regardless of the price. Indeed, they may not even look at the price when they're making their consumption decisions. Same old, same old. These are some of the key factors that influence the coefficient of price elasticity of demand. 